Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this social media post in Corel Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our social media post. First we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a square. Now we will set the size of the square 1080 pixel by 1080. Height and width will be same. Now we will set the align of this square. First we will click on specified point. Now we will align center horizontally and align center vertically. I will select the square and we will fill the color. I will remove the outline. Now we will select the polygon tool from the toolbar. Point will be 6 and we will draw a polygon shape. Now we'll adjust the size. Now we'll select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply on the polygon shape. Now we will set the colors of interactive fill tool. You can see the color codes. By double click on the line we can add the color in the interactive fill tool. Now we will adjust the colors. Now we'll select the polygon shape and we will give a white color to the outline. Now we will increase the size of the outline. Now we'll double click on this shape and we will rotate like this. And we will right click to make a copy. Now we'll do control page down. Now we'll select this shape and we will remove the outline. Now we will select the shape and we will drag inside with the shift key. Now we will right click to make a copy and we will fill black color in this shape. Now we will adjust the size. I will select the shape and we will click on interactive fill tool. Now we will apply on the shape. Now we will change the color. Now we will adjust the gradient.
now we will place the logo on the left corner now we'll make a simple logo with the polygon tool now we'll fill white color in this shape and we will remove the outline now we'll select the text tool and we will write the text Now we'll place this text on the polygon shape. Now I'll go to the edit menu and we will click on copy properties from. Now I'll tick on fill. Now we'll click on okay. Now we will click on the gradient from where we want to copy the properties. Now we will adjust the size of the logo. Now again we will select the text tool and we will write the text now I'll place this text with the logo now I'll adjust the size Now again we will select the text tool and we will write the text. Again we will give a white color to the text. I'll give a bold look to the text. I'll fill white color in the text. Now again we will select the text tool. Now we will select the font style. Now we will write head phone. I will select all the text and we will adjust the size. Now we will select the pen tool from the toolbar. And we will draw a line like this. Now we will place this line like this and we will give a white color to the line. Now we will increase the size of the line. Now we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now I'll click on option mirror horizontally and vertically. Now we will zoom 
and we will select both and we will increase the size now we'll select the text tool and we will write the text we'll give a bold look to the text Now we'll select both text and we will press C to align center. Now we'll select and we will adjust the size. Now we'll select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small rectangle. Now we'll fill white color in this rectangle. Now we'll make a copy of this rectangle by drag and right click. Now we will fill black color in this rectangle and we will remove the outline. I'll go to the effects menu. Now we'll click on option blur. Now we'll select Gaussian blur. Now we will adjust the radius size. Now we'll place this white rectangle on the black rectangle now we'll select both and we will increase the width now we'll select the text tool and we will write order now Now we will adjust the size of the text and we will give a bold look to the text. Now again we will select the text tool and we will write the text. Now we will write the contact details. We will write phone number and the website. Now we will import the image. Now we'll place the image on the polygon shape. Now we we'll select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a oval shape like this and we will fill black color in this shape and we will remove the outline now we'll select this shape and we will go to the effects menu now we'll click on blur now we'll select Gaussian blur we will make a shadow now we'll adjust the radius size now we'll select the headphone and we will do shift page up Now we'll select the shadow and we will adjust the shape. Now 
now we have this music icon now we'll place this icon on the post now first we will go to the edit menu and we will select the option copy properties from now we'll fill the same gradient in this icons also so we will copy this gradient now we'll place this Now again we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small square. Now we will right click on the square. Now we will select convert to curve. Now we will select the shape tool and we will add the node and we will remove this nodes. We will make a triangle shape like this. Now we will fill black color in this shape and we will remove the outline. Now we will make a copy of this triangle by drag and right click. Now we will fill white color in this triangle and we will remove the outline. Now we will select both and we will right click then group. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will make a copy by drag and right click and we will place like this. Now we will flip the triangles by mirror option. So guys our social media post design is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial you can ask me on the comment box. Please like, share and comments and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.